Here's the first example that we're going to look at. It's uh, not the most difficult thing. As you can see, in our original equation, all we have is an A. So what A is going to do, it's going to affect the vertical shape of our graph, so kind of keep that in mind. So we're going to go through the process of finding the things that we need to. So first thing I'm going to do is find the amplitude. So I'm going to take the absolute value of A, which is 2. And what that means is half the distance from the top to the bottom. So the distance from the top to bottom is actually going to be 4 in our graph, but our amplitude tells us that. Next, we're going to find our period. Your period is going to be how long it takes to complete one cycle of your graph. So it's going to be 2 pi divided by b. Uh, so your period, uh, there was a little beep in my headphone that usually means it stopped working for a second. Anyway, we're going to go back. The period is 2 pi divided by 1 uh, because it's 2 pi divided by b. So there is not going to be any effect to the period of our graph. It's going to be what it would normally be. Uh, so as you can see, we don't have a B in our problem. So therefore, the horizontal shape of our graph is not going to be shrunk or expanded. So kind of keep that in mind. Next, we're going to find our phase shift. So we'll say 0 is less than or equal to what we're taking the sine or cosine of, which is less than or equal to 2 pi. Now, if x is not by itself, we need to solve for x. But as you can see, x is already by itself. So in this one, just a couple checks. Uh, we're going to start our graph here. The distance it takes to complete one cycle is going to be 2 pi. So from here to here, better be 2 pi. And as you can see, 0 plus 2 pi is 2 pi. Next, we're going to find our divisions. And we're going to find that by taking your period and dividing by 4. When you simplify that, you'll get pi halves. OK. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and see if we can't graph it. So we'll draw a little coordinate plane over here. OK, now what we're going to do is we're going to label our x-axis. If you don't remember the patterns, here are the patterns, you can see each of these things, there are five different things in the pattern. So when we uh, label our x-axis, we're going to end up with five things. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to start here, whatever this is. Sometimes this is zero, sometimes we don't start at zero. It just depends. Don't always think that zero is included on your x-axis in terms of the points we're going to use. But this time it is, so we're going to start with zero, so zero. We're going to add our divisions four times. If you start here and add your divisions four times, and you don't end up here, then you've done something wrong. So zero, pi halves, add pi halves again, you get to pi. Add again, you're at 3 pi halves. And add it one more time, and you get 2 pi. So as you can see, we started here. We added this four times, and we got to here. So 1, 2, 3, 4. The distance from here to here better be this. So there's a lot of different checks that we can apply to make sure that we're graphing correctly. All right. So now we're actually going to graph our function. If you notice, our sine value is going to be positive. So positive sine goes 0, maximum 0, minimum 0. So kind of keep that in mind. So uh, at 0, we're going to be at 0. So these are the x's. The values that we found in the last one are actually our y values. So it's going to be 0 maximum. Our maximum value is going to be based on our amplitude. The normal maximum value of sine and cosine is 1. But of course, this is going to be multiplied by that. So 1 times 2 will give us 2. And then we're going to go to pi, which will give us 0. And we down here at this, and then here we are there. So our graph will look a little something like that. All right, that's the graph of the y is equal to 2 sine of x.